what's up you guys and welcome to today's video today we will be unboxing the oneplus open now this is oneplus's very first foldable device so it's a first gen product now, i'm really excited to get this product in my hand i know it's been out for like two months now but you just buy products right when they come out because typically they have bugs and stuff like that but nonetheless here's the box Oh, it's a nice heavy box, actually. All right, so this is about, here is the box for the OnePlus Open. OnePlus Open, if you guys look carefully here, you'll see it has OnePlus Plus Hasselblad, which is the new camera system that they're using on their OnePlus devices. I have to say, this feels like a really nice box. It's like nice and sturdy. I guess you could say that this feels already like a premium device. Um, so yeah, I'm really excited to get it in the Voyager black color. So nonetheless, let's get right into it. So you, this is a beautiful presentation. OnePlus has always been known for having great packaging if you're new to OnePlus. Um, but then nonetheless, let's go ahead and unbox it. So you have to remove this tab right here. It's like a little sticker, but we'll just use the knife for this part. Alrighty. And now you kind of have like a kind of you open it this way. So let's see. Oh, that's unique right there. I don't know if you guys could see that on the video, but like when you close it and then you open it, it rises up towards you, as you can see right here. So that's pretty unique. It kind of reminds me of the beats used to be when they first came out. Um, so when you open the box right here, you have Never Settle. Um, that's, you know, OnePlus's typical, that is OnePlus's typical, you know, slogan. We have the OnePlus open here. Go ahead and move that to the side for now. All right, now, I know it's been a minute since I've gotten a power brick in the box, but I gotta say, I'm like, I know we moved away from power bricks. It's nice that, you know, OnePlus still includes this because this is supposedly supposed to give you super fast charging. I believe you should be able to charge this phone in 45 minutes from zero. Then right here, you have more packaging. And I think that's all that you get in the box, but it's a nice box, it's a nice sturdy box. Yep, love the presentation so far. Gotta say you are at least getting your money's worth with the presentation. Tip, so let's go ahead and open this up. It's kind of like a little envelope type style. So you open it up here. Oh, wow. Look at that, guys. With OnePlus, they give you a case. That's like unheard of. Wow. Because I personally didn't purchase a case for it, but it gives you a case with the packaging. I mean, that's pretty nice. It's a nice soft texture material. So far, I'm impressed with OnePlus. I haven't had a OnePlus in a while. So then here you have the USB to USB-C charging cable. It's supposed to be like lightning fast um, cable. I like the red accent with the white. It actually looks pretty cool. Here you have some, you know, welcome stickers, more benefits, membership cards, quick guides, OnePlus stickers, and a SIM eject tool. So yeah, let's go ahead and put this to the side and get to the main event of today's video which is the oneplus device so it comes in like like this hard cardboard type box let's go ahead and take it out oh wow it feels nice so this is the hasselblad camera lens it's kind of big i've seen it on other videos but i didn't expect it to be that big but nonetheless let's take this off oh that's nice i like that leathery texture feels like real leather and this is how you will get the phone oh wow oh this actually feels really good let's see how it looks closed oh okay now i like this guys this actually feels like a usable phone folded but let's go ahead and power it on Alrighty. So we've powered it on, powered by Android OnePlus. Ooh, I gotta say my first impressions is this feels really nice in the hand, way better than what the Google Pixel actually felt like. All right, hello. Um, so let's go ahead and set it up. We'll do English, United States. Notes, do not remove exclusive screen protectors. Okay. You know, nobody actually really reads this stuff, but we're just gonna go ahead and check them off anyways. Connect to a mobile network, insert a SIM card if you have one. 
I do not. I have an eSIM. Okay, cool. Download your eSIM. Sure. All right, first we have to connect to Wi-Fi, so let me go ahead and do that. All right, connecting to Wi-Fi now. Damn, guys, I gotta say, like, the reason I always hated, I wouldn't say hate, but the reason why I, for some reason, disliked. Okay, we're connected, checking for network. Yeah, guys, so far, like, the material on it is really good. Like, I'm, I don't know if you guys are, you know, gonna be cool with this type of texture, but, I mean, I like it. It kind of gives you, like, a... Like if you have a case, but you really don't have a case, if you know what I'm trying to say. Um, but yeah, let's go ahead and try to connect this. Scan your QR code from network. Um, I think I'm gonna try to set this up later. All right, so let's get in the phone ready. This might take a few minutes. Nah, but guys, honestly speaking, like this feels like a regular phone. Like, I mean, obviously it's not as big as the iPhone. And it's not as big as the S23 Ultra, but like it feels just right. You know what I'm saying? It's like it has that level of um, how can I even explain it? Like perfect outside screen for one hand use and then boom, beautiful small bezels, not those big thick bezels that the Google Pixel had camera on the side. Check. So we got one, two three four four lenses that's crazy i mean it's a sexy phone i ain't even going front on that guys we're going to claim it and we're going to call it sexy phone all right let's go ahead and copy our data use other device all right guys so right now what we're going to do is we're going to try to put the information for my s23 ultra to the oneplus so i've inserted the cable all right so now we're we're moving along here thankfully Alrighty. so copy data to your new device copy gotta put that fingerprint Oh, all right. So now we're just going to copy the data from this phone from the S23 Ultra over to the OnePlus Open. So obviously that's going to take a minute, guys. But I swear this feels so nice. Like, I mean, given that this camera is humongous, like, like there's no question. This camera is huge, but I hope the quality, I hope the quality of the photos and videos makes up for having this huge freaking lens. You know what I mean? So we're going to hit copy. All right, getting account info, Google services, more, more, accept all, set that up, place your finger on the sensor. So the sensor guys is going to be right, right there. And you'll see it if when you get the phone, the different texture. So I'm gonna use my thumb, I'm just going to do this a couple of times around the phone. Yeah, kind of similar to the Google Pixel. So I'm also going to do the face one because I want to get the full experience of using this phone. Let's go ahead and continue. Oh, actually, that was pretty quick. Continue setup. All right, cool. So now we're getting into the nit and gritty. I agree. Yep. Allow assistance on. So pretty much your typical Google stuff. Add another email. No thanks. All right, cool. So now we're just getting to the nit and gritty and copying everything over. But damn, you guys, I don't know. I mean, I'm trying not to get too excited because that's exactly how I felt with the Google Pixel and let's just say it was a little rather disappointing with that phone but it's like this phone is like the bezels are small the screen is nice you could barely barely even see the like where the crease is right now it's like it's like the perfect aspect ratio if you think about it and then you close it and then you have a usable front screen like actually usable not that ugly passport looking that it's like up to here and it's like super chunky no okay like this feels Oof, man, thousand times better than the Google Pixel Fold. Now, let's get to the nitty gritty. You have for you to silence your notifications, kind of like what the iPhone used to have. Volume up and down, lock and fingerprint reader, USB-C, speakers, microphones, beautiful texture, guys. Oh my goodness, this phone looks so good. This is, you know, one thing I really like about the OnePlus Open so far is that they added kind of like a little matte texture here, which is great because unlike the Google Pixels, like this thing would just get filled with fingerprints, even if you put a case on it. When you open it, it snaps perfect look at that guys oh my goodness it's perfect it's flat you know what i'm saying it's not like curved a little bit like the google pixel was kind of like this no this is flat then when you go to close it it's perfect you know it's not going anywhere yep so right now we're just copying everything over and we'll be right back but guys in the meantime like look at that like what company nowadays is going to give you a case with the phone without charging you separate money like i mean obviously it's not like the most durable but it's a case you know what I'm saying? 
it's something that will get you started and charger like that's just unheard of nowadays like i guess yeah but like i said voyager black which is honestly the one you should get but they also have the as the emerald dusk which is like a green color now let's talk about the dimensions as you guess so finally all the information was able to pass on so right here you'll be hit with this screen that says join the red cable club um i guess we'll join it yep it's me sweet i agree so you can either do the buttons or you could do like the gestures that you can do kind of on like any other android um i always go with the gestures it's just easier for me and it's more like muscle memory it says quick connect quick connect is a service that enables your device to quickly discover and connect to other devices that need to connect to internet or bluetooth all right i guess yeah we'll leave that on okay now oxygen os let's get started oh okay oh feels nice and smooth i mean it is a 120 hertz display but now let's open this bad boy up wow <sighs> i'm sorry but as of right now this is the best folding phone in the market hands down i mean i know this is just first impressions and everything but guys this thing is insane like look at see how that brightness goes up look at that oh my goodness dude this feels like premium in the hand at your disposal inside your pocket like i don't think i could stress that enough but you know what we have to do guys gotta go on youtube right go ahead go on see youtube okay why is it not letting me go on youtube okay go to youtube allow all right now you know what we're gonna do go to my channel we're gonna test out the speakers on this thing because what great what good is it if the speakers are not great right so let's go ahead and let's do my most popular video so far cool piece of a pro unboxing so first it's up the quality guys highest resolution now let's put up that volume two stickers here when you um order it directly from google so let's just go ahead and cut these up I got the black one because I got the black phone. You know, I was thinking about getting the baby blue one, or I don't really know what they call it, but besides the. If you put it side by side with the 4K, you can actually see the sharpness difference if you really punch in. If you want a sample of this, the latest autofocus video I shot in my car is in 8K from this phone, and you can actually go watch it 8K on YouTube right now from the link below that like button if you want to. Oh yeah, and also don't forget about the better selfie processing, but also much better stabilization. All right, you guys, like, I don't know if you can hear from that, but this thing is major. You can use it like this. You can use it horizontally as well. Kind of the same aspect ratio, if you ask me. Um, but I feel like, yes, the inside display is amazing. But you want to know what's even better? The outside display. The outside display is just so, like, the outside display is like, I don't even know if I can even put this in words, but amazing i love it so far yep now let's test these cameras guys okay so from what i can see let's take a quick photo of let's say the iphone right and let's see how this looks let's do a quick portrait with the iphone one and then when you do it it'll show you it has the hasselblad 1x telephoto camera hasselblad 2x telephoto hasselblad 3x telephoto okay okay so let's take like a quick portrait mode of this and see how it looks Let's see. Okay, I mean, so far, so good. Let's take a quick selfie. Now remember, 32 megapixels on the front display, 20 megapixels on this inner display camera. Let's go ahead and take a selfie. Let's take a selfie and see how that portrait mode really looks. All right, guys, now let's try to take a selfie with the outside, just the outside camera. Let's go ahead and open it up. All right, so now let's, we're gonna take one with the inner display. For now, I wanted to give you guys kind of like i know this is an unboxing so i'm not gonna go crazy with the overall specs but i guess it would be important for you guys to know kind of just the basic ones i'll go full on spec wise on my complete review of this phone um but the main display which the primary display which is this front display 7.8 inches diagonal this feels like a usable screen that you can use on every day that was my biggest gripe with the pixel it was felt like a passport 
It was short, came up to here, huge bezel on this side. I feel like Google could have done a better job when it came to how they framed everything with the screen and the secondary inside display. The cover screen, which is the outer screen, is a 6.31 inch display diagonally. And then once you open it up, the main display, which is like their inside display, is a 7.82, a 7.82 inch diagonal. Um, and it is 120 hertz refresh rate. It's an AMOLED, it's a flex fluid AMOLED, 1400 to, two, to 2800 nits peak brightness, okay? Now let's talk about what OS we're using. So we are, this is a OnePlus device, so we are using Oxygen OS 3.2 based off of Android 13. The chip inside here is a Qualcomm Snapdragon 8 Gen 2 mobile platform. The battery size on this phone is a 4,805 milliamp battery and it supports 67 watts super, super volt, super charge. And they claim that you could charge this from zero to 142 minutes. I mean, we all know OnePlus is no, I mean, and I'm kind of glad that they did that because you may or may not know that we do not have wireless charging on this phone, unfortunately. I mean, I'm not one that uses wireless charging at all, really. But yeah, so far guys, like my first impressions, this feels good in the hand. It feels like a regular phone in your pocket. You know what I'm saying? Daily usage, you don't need more than this. Bam, you got multitasking tools. You're all set to go. You can text from here. Um, I don't think I'll be able to text right now, but so yeah, like you can text here and it has like the split keyboard that the Google Pixel had. The haptic features on it um, feel good. Check how the phone app looks. Okay, I guess it's still trying to pass all my contacts from, I mean, it's still trying to download everything. Yeah, it's still downloading all of my apps. But yeah, guys, like I said, I think if I only had to pick something that I didn't like, it would probably be this camera lens. It's huge, you know what I'm saying? Compared to like the Galaxy S23 Ultra, the Pixel 8 Pro, the iPhone 15 Pro Max, it's huge. And then when you put it on the table, it's kind of like slanted this way, which I mean, I guess it's okay because you, I like to use my phone slanted towards me regardless. Um, so when you're typing like this, it's fine. But when you are going to use it like this, eh, it could be kind of annoying. So just keep that in mind if you're thinking about purchasing this phone. But now guys, I have to say, I love everything of it so far. It feels good, it feels buttery smooth. It feels like the quality of this is really, really good, really sturdy. And we're gonna test out these cameras to their full potential because I do see when you go into the cameras that you have a pro setting that lets you change your shutter speed, your ISO, you know, your white balance. It lets you change all of that. And like, for example, if I put my hand here, see how it looks. I mean, I'm not sure how it looks on the on the screen because you know, I have the light hitting me here, but it looks good. I have to say the sharp, it's really sharp. Um, the colors look good. It does kind of like a little bit of what Google does with their software. It takes like a second to like process everything, but there's no shutter lag, which is great, which is something that we all know that is super annoying on the Galaxy S23 Ultra. All right, you guys, now let's do a video test with both the front and the back cameras. All right, you guys, and this is the quality that you'll get with the big lens the back cameras um let me know how you guys like it let me know how the colors look how the autofocus looks it looks a lot better than the front facing camera i mean we would assume so let me know how the audio sounds and let me know if you like the quality of the video all right you guys and this is a test of the front facing camera on the oneplus open let me know how you guys think it looks um on my end it looks great i mean obviously right so far um, but let me know how it looks um yeah just let me know how it looks if you guys like it if you don't how do the colors look how does the audio sound so you guys honestly like i said my impressions on this it's nice it's buttery smooth and honestly speaking we just have to take it through its paces but you know like i said um so far it feels great see so, yeah, so far it feels good in the hand um 
I showed it to my brother and he told me that it kind of feels like an iPhone, which is crazy to say, but yeah, guys, we're going to take this phone through its paces, see what we like, see what we don't like. Um, so far, you know, it looks good. I really like that the apps are like in this type of format for some reason, similar to like what you would get on the Google Pixel 8 Pro. But yeah, no, honestly, guys, I have no complaints. So I'm going to go ahead and take this phone through its paces, let you guys know how I feel about it, you know, watch video on it, play video games on it and see if this phone is worth the price tag. So guys, just so you know, the price that I paid for this phone specifically was $1,600. And now, just so you guys know, this phone came with 16 gigabytes of RAM and 512 gigabytes storage. Um, so for the price, I feel like, you know, that's fair. It, you should not be getting anything under that, which is one of the major disappointments that I had with the Google Pixel Fold. But with OnePlus Open, I have to say that I can justify the price tag a lot more than I did with the Google Pixel Fold. But nonetheless, guys, I think that's where I'm going to wrap up this video. Again, this is just an unboxing. This is nothing. We're not going to go into specs or anything. That's for the review. Please let me know if you enjoyed this video. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe.